Hey, Mike Callahan here, back with Callahan's Corner. Take number two had some technical difficulties as we were trying to build out the matrix, but a uh, question was submitted, how to create a estimate for lawn mowing based on each size of lawnmower and separate production rates so the consumer doesn't see the particular price that you're charging for each part of their property based on the size of the mower. So you can have, uh, in this example, I'm going to have a 22-inch mower, 36, 60, and 72-inch and how to break that down, and especially if you're using a larger commercial property, if you're utilizing a small mower in certain areas and a large 60 or 72 inch in wide open areas, how do we charge and create production rate based estimating on that? Uh, also gonna go in and show you how to do it based on a normal mowing scenario where you average in uh, your average production rate for your mowing, blowing and edging, and get that in. And if you use service autopilot, uh, we'll also show you how to get that in there for success. So um, sorry about the delay on the first version, but uh, I'm gonna pop this open and show you really quickly how we do this. So first thing I'm gonna do here is on take number two is jump right into the particular question of how to break it down per size of mower and linear feet of edging and blowing. Then I'm gonna show you the general example of the lawn mowing where we average the mowing, blowing and edging all together. So I'm gonna be using some industry averages. Uh, you obviously wanna make sure you do time studies for your team uh, based on the guys and girls at your equipment you're using. So the first example here is we're gonna create a basic parent service. Everything underneath this will be uh, hidden underneath it. This is a simple growth blueprint where we actually go in and frame this out. Now what we've done is made some uh, assumptions here on service three. Uh, we're charging $50 an hour, so that's our goal per revenue per man hour and our expense per hour uh, based off our budget is $36.42. So the first mower that we're going to be building out is a 22-inch mower. So I put in the service name of 22-inch mower in the job variable, the custom field that we're measuring, the area that that 22-inch mower is going to be mowing, is the 22-inch mower square footage. I've got some math down here that we've already kind of created. So we, we've, we've decided, based on industry averages, a 22-inch mower can mow up to 5,000 square feet. So kind of actually happy about the technical difficulties because I'm going to show you how we actually break this down. So I'm going to go in and show you from one to 5,000 square feet here, um, what it breaks it down, how to break it per thousand. And then I'm going to recommend you re-edit the top line to reflect uh, a per thousand square foot increment for each mower here as a, your minimal. So what we're going to do is go in and say it takes us one hour. So based on one hour times 50 is $50. So what I'm going to do down the bottom line here is go in and say equals this divided by five, because five parts of a thousand, five times a thousand, 5,000. It's 0.2 hours and our price times that equals $10 and a cost of $7.28. So what I'm going to do is now is just manipulate this from one to a thousand is my $10. 0.2 hours and seven dollars and twenty eight cents. So that for an industry average, we've got five thousand square feet for a twenty two inch mower. Now the next one's going to be a thirty six inch mower. So a thirty six inch mower from one to ten thousand square feet is one hour, and our rate equals that times times the fifty dollars is going to equal out that fifty dollars an hour. So what I'm going to do is what is that every thousand? So if I take the one hour and divide that by 10, that's going to give me 0.1 hours. Now, in the example before we were retaking this, we had a uh, problem with the formula, so I re-upped those and restarted the video here. But what we do is just take our rate times the 0.1 man hours times our 50, and that's giving us $5 per thousand in a cost of 362. So I'm going to re-up this here to 1,000, make this $5, 500. And I'm going to make this 0.1 man hours. Now it's per thousand. Now I'm going to go jumping into my 48 inch mower. Same exact thing. So our a production rate for a uh, 48 inch mower is 25,000 square feet per hour. I'm going to take my formula here times the 50 bucks an hour. And you notice that 27% profit margin staying consistent. So we know our math is correct. And it's double checking the profit and profit percentage. So once I'm going to take the bottom line and divide the one hour divided by 25 now, because there's 25 parts of a thousand at 0.04. Now you can notice this production rate is going down per thousand because it's taking less time because the mower is larger. So I'm going to go in and multiply this out times our 50 bucks an hour. And it's $2 per thousand. So I'm going to say one to 1,000 now is 0.04. 
That gives us our $2. Now we're going into our 70. So as our 48 inch, now we're going to go into our 72 inch. And it looks actually, I'm going to go in and do a 60 inch. I'm going to put the name in. And our 72 or 60 inch mower square footage. So that's the area we're covering. Now a 60 inch mower is going to be on the upwards. So actually this 48, I'm sorry, is a 60 inch. So I'm looking at my production rates here and this 72 will do here. And a 72. And that average production is going to be at 35,000 square feet. So I'm going to say from one to 35,000 to get our math is going to be one hour. And equal one times our hourly rate of 50. So we need to break that down per thousand. So once again, I'm going to go in and divide the one hour divided by 35 because it's 35 times a thousand is 35,000 square feet. That's going to give me 0.03 man hours. Now I'm going to multiply that out times 50 to get my hourly rate and move that right up top again. So it's a dollar 43 per thousand. And there you have it. So now we've broken out the productions, uh, how long it should take per thousand for each type of mower. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go into linear feet of weed whacking. So linear feet of weed whacking is going to be 4,000 square feet. So I'm going to say one to 4,000 linear feet is one hour. And I'm going to put equals one hour times our hourly rate. Copy and paste those down. So per hour, I can uh, linear feet is 4,000 linear feet for one hour. So I want to break that down per thousand. So that's divided by 4.25. That's 15 minutes. And when I multiply those out, that's $12.50. So I'm going to go up and manipulate my top line per thousand. And we've got the same numbers top and bottom. Our break even cost. Just transferred a number here. So we'll update this formula. Should be 0.06, not 0.05, 0.25. Okay, so now we have linear feet of weed whacking. And if we really want to break it down, we can do linear feet of blowing here as well. And if you're in a southern market and you do stick edging, you could also do that as well. So I've got this here for up to 7,500 linear feet per hour. Multiply my hour times my hourly rate here. Copy these down. And take my budget hours and divide this by 7.5 because 7.5 times 1,000 equals that 7,500. Point one three man hours per thousand linear feet. One three and we six fifty and So, so we mixed account. Um, budget hours is one hour for seventy five hundred fifty. This is going to equals this divided by seven point five point one three. All right, and I've noticed this is transferred over. So we just need to update our bottom lines here. So they're all the same. So what I did is I did the math on the bottom cell. So you don't want to uh, let that override that. So I'm just overriding this here to make sure we've got the same equation across the board. All right. 
So now we have everything we need. We don't have anything on the parent service. So that is how we would set up the production rate for the 22 inch mower for each thousand square feet, the 36 inch, the 60 inch, and the 72. Now, if you're doing an average, I've done that already. So let's say our base price is $45. This is your average of mow, blow, and edge. We'd say one to 5,000 square feet is 45 bucks, 0.9 man hours, and a cost of $32.78. And every thousand over the base price of 5,000 is $2.92 based on 0.06 man hours times $50 an hour. And it is a cost of $2.12 per man hour break even. So now that we've got our blueprint, you always want to create your blueprint to know what you did in the past, and be able to implement it in your software. So what you're going to do now is go into Service Autopilot and go under Services, and we're going to build these out. So I'm going to pull this over to my other screen here for my demo, for my blueprint, and build this out for you live. So what we are going to do is, there we go, add a service. And I'm going to call it uh, 25 dot just so I can find it. But we're going to go in now on this sheet. We're going to go right to service number three and do 22 inch mower. And for time's sake, I'm going to fill in the invoice and estimate description and code with that. And we are going to do use and estimates only. And then we'll go to rate matrix. So what we've got here is we want to go into quantity rate times visits. And I want to go in and use per square footage. Now, obviously, the test count's got quite a few. Uh, but we're going to use... The 000 turf square footage when we actually use it. And then what we're going to do is take our 1 to 1000, the 10, the 0.2, and 728. These are going to be the numbers that go in the service autopilot. So we're going to go 1 to 1000, just like it was in the sheet. $10 and 0.2 man hours. And a cost of $7.28 before profit. Now it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's gonna be every thousand over the first thousand is $10 more, 0.2 man hours more, and $7.28. So those are the things we need to know. And under details, we wanna associate it to a parent service. So we didn't build that out. So I'm gonna hit save and new, and I'm gonna do 0.25 lawn mowing. So what's happening is we're creating this parent service, and each child service will be falling underneath it, invisible to the client. So we're going to make this per unit income account. And estimate description and hit save. Now I'm going to do my uh, 0.25 or my 22 inch lawnmower should be in here. So I'm going to need to go and reassign that 22 inch lawnmower. and make this parent service the 0.25 lawn mowing. So now it's gonna be associated and fall underneath it. And we're gonna save in new. So right now we've done our 22 inch lawn mower. Now we're gonna go in and do a 36 inch lawn mower. And it, parent service is already selected. So I'm gonna say, okay, use this in estimates only. Rate matrix, quantity rate times visits. And I'm going in and using my turf square footage. And the one I used was a three zeros. Now. Once again, we're going back to this blueprint, and from one to a thousand is five bucks, point one man hours, and three dollars and sixty three cents. One to a thousand, five dollars, point one zero, and our cost three dollars and sixty four cents before profit. Same exact thing as the first one, it's the same exact formula as on the top. And we're going to save and new. So now we've got a 22 inch mower, a 36 inch mower, and we're going to do our 60 inch mower now. And 
So I've got our 60 inch mower. I'm going to say it's a parent service that, of the main lawn mowing account. I'm using estimates only rate matrix going back quantity read times visits. And I'm going to my turf square footage and always it's one to 1000. And you can do this per square foot if you want. I think it's just easier per thousand, $2 and 0.04. and a cost before profit of $1.46. So this is how we're breaking this down. So now I'm gonna show you how to bring this all together in a minute in an actual estimate to show you what it looks like. This is how we would create uh, standardized estimates based on the size of mower. Now, uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm gonna actually talk about this in a minute, how we do this. But if you're wondering, well, what if one lawn has a lot of trees, one doesn't have any trees, what if there's a hill? Uh, what we're going to be able to do then is break this down in an A, B, and C difficulty. So A is our average, B is maybe 80% efficiency, and then maybe C difficulty is 60 or 50% efficiency. We're going to show you how to have variables based on uh, the different site particulars as well, because that's usually a big concern. So now we've got a 60 inch. I'm going to go into a 72 inch mower. Uh, for the time's sake, I'm not going to do the weed whacking and blower, but it's going to be the same exact thing. So one, two, 1,000 square feet is $1.50 and 0.03. So using estimates, this is our 25 dot, 72 inch mower. Rate matrix, we're going to go in, quantity rate times visits, we're going to go custom field of turf square footage, one, two, 1,000, and $1.50, 0.03. And our cost before profit is a dollar nine. So we're going to plug that in. Same thing as all the other ones. It's a one to one. It's a variable. So every thousand over the first thousand, an additional dollar fifty point oh three man hours, and a dollar oh nine before profit. Now we've got everything we need to build out this production rate based estimating system. So. Uh, Next question is, I'm going to go back to my, my sheet here, just show you quickly what this looks like. So if I service nine is a 22 inch mower right here, I'm going to just copy this whole cell and bring this down. But this is the math behind the scenes that you're going to want to be looking at if you do this, a 22 inch mower, but I would say, okay, this is our B. This is our B difficulty. So A is 100% efficiency. B, let's say, is 80% efficiency, okay? So what you would do then is go in and create an equation. So equals the 0.02 man hours to do it times um, 1.2. So it's 20% more time based on that. So it's 20 minus 100 is 80% efficiency. So now... Instead of, uh, so your, your budgeted time now goes up to 0.24 hours and you're charging $10. So where you originally were charging, so it's 0.2 here. Let me just make sure we've got all the formulas lining up. Yep. So eight, let's see here. So we've got the original here is $10 and that's that the formula is static. So you want to put equals. 0.2 times 50, $10. And we're coming back down here. So that's $12 per cut per thousand instead of 10, because what we've done in the math is added 20% of inefficiency. So what you would probably want to do is create uh, mowers for A, B, and C. So 100% at A. 80% efficiency at B. And then if you took this down again and made this for C, so we're going to go back into that equation. So that's 20% more time. So maybe it's 40% more time because if hills are a lot of trees, now you're charging $14 per thousand. And then obviously you need to update the bottom line, but that's how you can create an A, B, and C um, scenario based on what's going on through the satellite or on site. So we want to not only break it down for size of equipment, but we want to break it down in an A, B, and C uh, 
difficulty there to account for those different property types. So now that you have that though, next thing is we want to go into the gear icon and we built all those out. People want to know what does that look like, Mike, once I get that in there. So estimates right here, job estimate templates. We're going to create a template. We're going to build this in so it all loads in one succinct way. So I'm going to go in here and hit add a template. I'm going to call this my 25 dot uh, Facebook Live lawn mowing. I'm going to show for both jobs and estimates, and it allowed me to select an estimate document. So I'm going to see what we got here. I'm going to go in and do that one there, and then I'm going to go in and add some items. So the first thing I need to do is put my 25 dot lawn mowing because that's my parent service that's the one people are going to see then i go to the plus icon and i'm going to add in under services all the 25 dot mowers so i've got a 25 dot mower here so it's a 22 36 60, and we're going to add the 72 in. And if we had A, B, and C, then I would go in and put all each type of mower A, B, and C difficulty as well. But now we have this built out, what we're going to do is save and close. And under marketing forms, we're going to create an on-site estimate form for ease, ease of use. So traditionally, this is what this on-site uh, demo form could look like. And you'd have name, address, city, all the main information. You'd have turf square footage. And then you could have turf square footage, 20, 22-inch mower, turf square footage, 36, four, uh, 60, and 72. And that would calculate each area. So that's how you could tie that into a form. And when you build that into the form... Uh, it is going to basically push those numbers in. So I'm going to uh, show you really quickly how to actually build that form out. All right. And what we would do is put in your address. It's going to be service address. We are going in to put the name. Move that up. Move our service name up. So you really want to think about before you put these in, like on a Facebook Live, what order you want them in. And I'm going to grab my last name, but you can manipulate them up. It's not a drag and drop, but it is uh, very doable, as you can see here. Now. Once you have this on-site estimate form, uh, first name, lap, it's name or map back, service address is mapped back. Under fields, we want to go in and maybe just put a divider. Look down here, we'll put in another divider. Then I'm going to add in some numbers, number fields. So this is 22 inch square footage. For the mower, and what you're going to do is scroll down. Field mapping is to a custom field number. And you're going to go in and grab your 22 inch. Or footage. And then we're going to go in and add another number field. This is going to be your 36 inch square footage. So the idea is if you're on field, on site, and you're measuring this out, you can plug this in. I'm going to show you how to plug this into the map as well in a minute. Uh, but this is the two different ways of tackling it for best practice. Scrolling down, we're going to map it to custom field number. 
and we're going to do our 36 inch square footage. I should have had one in there, but maybe I did not. But if you had it in there, you would map that back. So let's see here. We can get that custom number here. I must forget to, forgot to make that. So the next one then, so you build your 22, your 36, your 48, and your 60, map them all back. And then when you plug the numbers in, it automatically calculate the price for each area that you're, you're managing there. And then the final step without kind of diving into this and hunting and packing for the rest of these is you literally just continue to add your numbers. So your next one is going to be your 60 inch square footage. Same thing, scroll down, custom field number. And so my guess is this is not populating based on a number. So what we would want to do just to confirm is save the draft. And this is a troubleshooting that would be good for everybody to see because it does happen occasionally, especially if you're doing it live on Facebook and rushing through it. Is if you go into your gear icon custom fields, my best is I saved a few of these as text and not numbers. And when they're text, they don't multiply a uh, actual equation. So if I go in and Go into the first one at 36. I don't see it in here. So let's see if we have the 60. Interesting. So I must not have saved those in there. So let's go back to a little live troubleshooting. Go to the gear icon and relook up those services to see where we're at. Traditionally, when you do that and there's an issue, if they haven't saved, uh, it's either the custom field wasn't saved to a number or maybe it didn't connect it. So let's go into name. Let's go into 36 inch, 36 inch mower. Let's re-standardize this so it's 25 dots. We know exactly where we're at. And the rate matrix is not based on that, but it's actually based on 36 inch. So I did miss an actual pretty good spot uh, thing in here. So this will actually be a good way to go about this. So you actually need to have turf square footage based on each size mower. So you've got a 22, a 36, a 60, and a 72. So... As we do it, we need to connect the church square footage to um, the correct appropriate custom field. So command F, we're going to go into 36 here and see if we have it. So we don't. So we need to create another custom field for 36 inch. Church square footage. That's going to be a number. Save a new. Sixty inch per square footage. It's a number, save a new, and then we need one for all right. So I apologize about that, but actually that's probably gonna happen to some folks watching. So uh, it's not that bad that it really did happen. So we're gonna go back into the gear icon and reconnect our services, and this will update. Uh, what we're doing. So now we've got our 22 inch mower. We need to go in and reassign the rate matrix to we didn't make one for that either. So I got to make one more there for 22. We did 36, 60 and 72.
And save. So now we should be good. We have custom fields for each area now. As we go in here now, we've got our 22 inch mower. When we go to the rate matrix tab, we should be able to go in now and that is going to be the 22 inch turf square footage for the mower. We're gonna save that. Now the next one we need to go in is update the 36. And rate matrix. This now needs to be the 36 inch per square footage. Now we need to go into our 40 or our 60. And our rate matrix for this guy here needs to be 60. Then we've got our 72 we need to update as well. So you need to make sure that they, the, um, custom field is appropriate to the area it's mowing. So it's not just turf square footage, it's square footage in general. It's a square footage, it's just that size mower is tackling. And that is your 60 inch. And now we need to go in and do our 72 inch. Once that loads, we'll update it. And I'll show you how this all comes together here. But keep in mind, you probably, depending on your lots, if they're not all the same, you will probably want to create a difficulty of A, B, and C for each one of these mowers as well. There we go. Save. All right. So we should have everything we need now on the service updated with the appropriate custom field for each size mower. We're going to go back into forms and connect a couple of the dots just so everybody can see what that looks like. So we've got our new form today. We've got first name and last name, Mac backward service address, 22 inch mower. We're going to go in, we're going to edit it. Scroll down. Twenty-two inch square footage, thirty-six. And double check that. Maybe that was still a. There it is. And a sixty. Custom field number. There we go, 60. And then the last final step here is we want to add our 72 in. So our 72 inch mower. footage. So the idea is as you're walking around the property, if you're measuring this out by hand, you're plugging in the square footage that each mower is doing and associated to that custom field. So the final step is you want to go down to field mapping, custom field number, and grab 72 inch turf. We're going to hit next. This is our thank you page. That's fine. Mobile and office. So we can use it in the mobile and the office and we want it to uh, be available. So Mobile accounts can be related to different types of items in Service Audible. What items do you want require in the film? Accounts or services? I'm going to say accounts. Which accounts? I want to use all. Roles all, and it's not required. And then publish. If there's any issues, this will alert you to any issues that will pop up. So now we've created the, the services, potentially with difficulty levels A, B, and C for each size mower. Now we're going to go into Service Autopilot and... Um, so feeling a little courageous here, we will dive into V3. So I'm going to go into CRM accounts to flip it over to V3. And I'm going to pull up our test account or one of the test accounts. Now this can be done in V2 and V3. So don't feel that like you have to do it uh, in either one of these. So what we're going to do is go into test tester. 
And instead of going under property measurements on the top right hand side of the more button, it is under the little home icon. Uh, you do need Maps Pro or um, Maps Plus as they call it here. But as we scroll into it, you can see an area I've already highlighted for some landscape beds in this test account. What we're gonna do is go to edit right here and we're gonna go in and measure this property. So this is kind of a good example because I really like the V3 linear feet as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is delete out the square footages already. And I'm gonna show you a linear feet. So let's just say we built out the weed whacking or blowing linear feet and I wanted to tackle that area right there for linear feet of wheat or of uh, edging, I could just put uh, linear one weed whack. I can color it and I hit OK and I go to property data and then I would go in and search for the linear feet custom field and save it there. And that would save all the linear feet uh, if we were edging. So that's how you would add that in. So what I'm going to do though is go in and actually measure the turf square footage, add an area of measurement. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make sure it's under add for the calculation. And I'm going to bump this out so everybody can see it. And we're just dropping pins by clicking it. It drops a pin idea. Usually when you're looking at a house, I go from the right to left. Double click, you can see the color of it. And let's just say you wanted to uh, you name it. So this would be turf square footage. But we've got our gross turf square footage. And I'm going to call that um, our 000 turf square footage. Then what I would also do is then we're going to break it down of what areas are we mowing with each size mower. And that will um, break that out for us. So let me just see here. And turf square footage. So what I've done here is I've grabbed my gross square footage. So maybe we want to use this for fertilizing. So what I can do is go in this little eye icon and, and turn that on or off. And now I want to go in and add measurements. So let's just say I'm cutting the front lawn with the 22 inch mower. And our 25 dot, if I can get it here, hold on. We would grab our, two, our turf square footage for the 22 inch mower. Obviously you probably never have this many square footages in here. It should pull up, but I'm having some issues here. So let me see if I can get this to work. Not too sure why that's not pulling up. It usually does. So what I can do is I'll go into V2 just to show you on the regular map how that plays out. Um, I may be ahead of the system here or something, but traditionally what you're going to do is save it, uh, that area right there to turf square footage, and that's the custom field you're grabbing. So if you're in V2... And we pull out of that overlay. Let's pull up the other version just so you can see it. And then we'll hop back to V3 to see if that loads up by then. So we'd go to the more tab, we'd go to property measurements. And once this loads up, we'll have the satellite version here. So once again, you can do the full gross lot square footage, but I'm just going to do 
a quick one here so you can see what it looks like if we were to do the 22 inch push mower here. And we're going to highlight that green. And I'm going to get rid of these other two areas here. And then we're going to add another one for the 22 inch. The other side. And what we would do is hit both of these would be plus. We'd hit save. So that's always going to come up the same. And then what we would do is select the custom field of the 22 inch push mower. So there's the 36, there's the 60, there's the 72, there it is. So 22 inch mower, square footage, save 3150. Now what we could do now is if we did fictitiously wanted to do it for the 60 for the rest of the house, But on a large commercial HOA property, this could be very applicable. Front yards may be a 22 or 36. The large areas may be a 60 or um, 72. So this would be 60 inch square footage. And we're going to color that a little bit different. But we're going to make these plus icons zeros. Same exact thing in V3. I'm not sure why I couldn't get that to pull up, but the idea is you've got it here. Now you're going in and resaving that now for the 60 inch mower. There and hit save. So now we've saved the front and the back. So let's say we've got a fertilizing uh, company watching this as well. So you're not just mowing it, but maybe you want to um, grab another area for uh for square footage and then you would go in and measure this whole entire property again and overlay it literally across the top here but then you can have your your measurement for each size mower your turf square footage for uh, fertilizing aeration overseeing or anything else it's a gross lot square footage so it gives you that variability to overlay uh, in v2 and v3 really to do that now you've got another one where you can make it a real light uh, blue. And now you can see that there as well. We'd add that plus icon there, and then we'd go in and move it into whatever turf square footage that is for the whole entire thing. So you're able to grab each size mower and then a gross square footage of the of just the turf area. So once you have all those, we'd go in, hit add an estimate, and hopefully everything lined up. And we would go into templates here. Once this loads, we grab our estimate template, and then all those services should load in. So we've got our 25 Facebook Live lawn mowing. We'd apply the 22, 36, 60, and 72 inch mower loads in. Notice there's no price for the 36 or the 72. We only put square footages in for the um, 22 inch mower and the 60 inch mower. So it's $40. For the front yard and twelve dollars for the back. That lawn mowing is fifty-two bucks, one point four man hours, cost of thirty-seven eighty-eight, a profit margin of twenty-seven point two. So that's how you'd break that down. All the consumer is going to see when you hit this quote to draft and hit save new preview. All the consumer is going to see is that twenty-five dot lawn mowing, and obviously you would just put residential lawn mowing or whatever that is. But that would be the ideal scenario to break down a production rate based estimating system um, right there. And the consumer has no idea that you're breaking it down for each size of mower. So comments or questions drop below. I know it was a longer video, but that's how you create a standardized production rate based estimating system uh, inside service autopilot or in any other CRM using that blueprint uh, that we showed you and then building it out. So comments or questions drop below, but uh, I would recommend breaking that down for each size mower, linear feed of stick edging, weed whacking and blowing. And then in addition, once you have that, we want to add a difficulty factor. So level A is your normal production. B is maybe 20% less efficient. And then level C is the most difficult, uh, only 40% less efficient. So you're only at 60% efficiency. Um, and that'll allow you to do it per each size mower, weed whacking, stick edging, and blowing. Uh, traditionally, you're going to be at the same production level. But if you need to 
dial those back for production on a harder property as well, you can do that as well. So comments, questions, drop below Callahan's Corner. You ask the questions. We answer them live right here on Facebook.